Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch, 4th generation, 3rd generation, your iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, and your iPad 1 on iOS 5.0.1. And in this video, I'm going to be using my iPod Touch 4th generation here. As you can see, you got the camera on the back. I'll be jailbreaking this, and this device is on iOS 5.0.1. And just to show you guys, you go to General, and Settings, General, and then About. And if you scroll down a little bit, under Version, it'll tell you 5.0.1. So if you guys are already jailbroken, so you have a tethered jailbreak on your device, there's no need to restore your device and do all that stuff again. Um, there's actually a package in Cydia called Corona, and if you guys want to check out my video, you guys can click on the link in the description below. That'll actually make your tethered device untethered. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to the Dev Team blog, which I'll have a link in the description below. You're going to scroll down a little bit once you get there, and you're going to want to install the Red Snow for Mac or Windows. If you're on Mac, click Mac, and then Windows, click Windows. Then I've already done that, so then you're going to want to open up what you downloaded. So you're going to open up Red Snow here, and then now you're going to make sure your iDevice is plugged in, so in my case, an iPod Touch. And then go ahead and hit jailbreak and then now you're going to want to make sure it is plugged in and powered off. So if it's not, plug it in first and then power it off here. And then these next steps get a little tricky. You're going to click next here and then you're going to hold the power button for three seconds. And then do not let go of the power button and continue holding the home and power button. And keep doing that here. And then you're going to release the power button and continue holding the home button. So if you guys didn't get all that, just go ahead and rewind the video a little bit and then pause and play it and you'll get it eventually. I know that's kind of tricky, so if you guys don't get it the first time, it'll tell you that you did not enter DFU mode directly and you didn't do it correctly, so then you're going to have to do it again. Don't worry about that, just go back to the last step and just keep trying it until you get it into DFU mode and you see the little blue bar go across the actual program on your computer. So now it's going to actually start jailbreaking your device and I'm not going to do much talking here because there's not much you can actually talk about. There are a few things I do want to mention. The first being that this jailbreak is untethered, which means you do not have to run red snow on your computer and plug it in every time your device powers off. So that is very nice and just it's an awesome thing to have an untethered jailbreak if you guys haven't found that out yet. Another thing I want to mention is this is not for the A5 devices. So it's, this jailbreak does not work on the iPhone 4S or the iPad 2. So please do not leave comments below asking why this doesn't work on your iPhone 4S or your iPad 2 because it won't. And here we've come to an actual step you'll need to do. Right here you're going to want to make sure install Cydia and enable battery percentage if you want that. But the main thing is make sure you have install Cydia checked and then you can go ahead and hit next here again. And then it'll take place on your device here. And you'll actually get some pictures and something to look at on your iPod or iPhone or whatever you use in here. And now you get some cool scripts and codes running on your iDevice. So this is all normal, just make sure you do not unplug your device while it is jailbreaking or you'll have to redo this all again and it just takes a lot of time. So just make sure you don't unplug it or anything like that. I'm actually just going to skip over this part and I'll come back to you guys when it's done. Here's the next process of jailbreaking your device and you don't have to do anything, just make sure it's plugged in still and just I'll come back to you guys when this part's done as well. So now as you guys can see my device is powering up here. I didn't use Red Snow to boot it up, it's just powering up all by itself so that's an awesome feature of an untethered jailbreak here. And as you can see it booted up with no problem whatsoever so I'm going to go ahead and slide to unlock here. It's a little laggy for the first time. But there we go. Some bugs that um, do come with the iOS 5.0.1 jailbreak are the white icons, but an easy way to fix that is just respring your springboard, so open up Cydia and install something. Now you're going to choose what you are, user, hacker, developer. I'm going to choose developer for myself. And there you guys have it. None to the jailbreak for iOS 5.0.1. Alright guys, so thanks for watching my video here on YouTube on how to get an untethered jailbreak on your iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4th generation, 3rd generation, iPhone 3GS, and your iPad 1. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or any just anything, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you. I'll try to get back to you, or you can tweet me. It's a little easier to do that. But if you guys like this video, remember to hit the thumbs up button below. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button right up top there. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.